Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to document a function in your own R package. I've made two previous videos, introductory videos about R packages that you may want to watch, but this today will be a complete example, so uh, you shouldn't miss anything. We'll start from scratch, create a new package, create a simple function, and then document this function. So, um, to create a package, we can go to the project menu. I'm outside a project now, so it says project none. We can click on this downward arrow just below the X to close down our studio. We create a new project. We get to this project wizard, and I recommend to create a project in a new directory. It's recommended not to create a project inside another project, but on the main level. Um, and you can choose R package, but I recommend using R package using DevTools. Um, that makes our life a little bit easier. DevTools contains some helper functions for us package developers. So we do that, and then we need to specify in which um, folder the project, the package, shall be developed. I can leave that here. Um, if you need to change that, use the Browse button, and I'll call the package Billboard Songs. And we'll be using data from the Billboard Hot 100. So clicking on that takes a few seconds, and then we're inside our package Billboard Songs. Now, to make it easier for you to follow along and to access the data, I'm using the billboard package. And now, as we develop packages, we don't use the library command. So this is one of the things where we have to um, think differently inside a package, as opposed to writing R scripts outside of packages. We don't use the library function, but if we're using the billboard package to access the data, um, we can use a DevTools function. So I'm loading the DevTools package. And this also loads the use this package. And use this has got a number of very convenient helper functions for package development. So now I want to specify that our package that we'll be using needs the billboard package to access the data. So I can use the convenience function use underscore package. And we'll just specify billboard. To make this work, you need to have the billboard package installed. I installed it previously, so I'm not showing the install process, but you can just run install packages billboard. So I'm doing this, and this adds the billboard package to our description, to the imports field in our description. So I can click on the description. I didn't fill in anything here, so we could um, add a title and a description. I'm not doing this now for the sake of brevity. But we see here at the bottom in imports, um, it specifies this billboard package. So it means that when this package is installed, um, maybe by other users, then the billboard package will also be installed along. OK, and now we can build a function. I have prepared something, so I'm going to recent files, billboard. And there's some code there that I'll just use <laughs> so that I don't have to type so much here. Um, but this code the script is outside of the package. So we're creating a new script. We could just run file, new file, R script, or use this keyboard shortcut, control shift and N. But I'll use, uh, use this convenience function. It's called use underscore R. And I'll call my function random song. The function is supposed to select a random song from the billboard package um, and the billboard wiki hot 100s data set. So now use this, created an R script called random underscore song, and this script is stored in the R subfolder of our package. But the script is empty at the moment, so I'll copy over the function. We'll have a quick look at the code, what the function does. So to access the data, I specify the package here, billboard, with the double colon notation, so I don't have to load the package using the library function, um, because this is not good practice inside our packages, but we specify the package and the data, and this way we can use the data set. So the function has another parameter called artist, and I put a default here, Rihanna, and then the data just gets filtered by this artist, and then I'm using base R sample function 
to randomly draw one song from this artist and then this random song gets printed to the console. And now another topic where we have to think differently creating our packages as opposed to writing plain scripts outside of our packages is that I don't run this code now to define the function the global environment. The global environment is empty at the moment and I don't want the function to be there but the function shall live in the package. So how can I access the function? At the moment I can't. I can try that out. Random song and the function is not found. So uh, make sure to save the script um, and then when we are inside a package we have this build tab that doesn't exist outside of packages in our studio and it has this menu more so we can click on build more load all. This will load our function. There's also a keyboard shortcut. As you work with this more often you'll get used to the keyboard shortcut Control shift l So we can um, load all the functions in our package. In this case it's only one. And now I can try the function again, random song, and now it works and it outputs a random song by Rihanna, in this case Disturbia. Alright, so far so good. So our function works. And let's see if we've got a documentation for this function. I call the help file for um, question mark random random song. Sorry, it's not about albums. Question mark random song. Um, but um, we don't get a help file for this. No help file defined yet. Um, I have this video creating an R package in two minutes. We created the default R Studio package and it had this man subfolder and an rd file there. But the good news is we don't create these rd files by hand. If you haven't seen that, don't worry about it. You'll find a better way of creating a help page for our function. Um, there's a package called roxygen2 or roxygen2 and there are so-called roxygen tags that we can insert in our script and we can do that um, using another helper function from our studio in the code menu insert our oxygen skeleton. That's also a keyboard shortcut for this. You don't have to remember this by heart. You can just go to the menu. When you do this more often maybe you will remember the keyboard shortcut but the menu is there to help us. Code insert our oxygen skeleton. Just make sure to place the cursor inside your function so that our studio knows which function you refer to. Uh, I clicked on this and this gives me um, a skeleton for the help file. So help files have a clearly defined structure. The idea is to have um, the information for the help page in the same script as the function um, and not separate it like with the RD files if we wrote them directly. That's not best practice anymore. So we do this in the same script that also holds our function so everything is one in one place. So now we can start filling this out a little bit. A title, select a random song, and then there are parameters, and we should describe these parameters. So, artist, I just type in a band artist to select a song from, and data, the data set to use defaults to, and we can use this information from the function the wiki hot 100 dataset from the billboard package. Okay, I'm saving the script again and now we have a similar workflow to loading functions that we saw on the build more. Um, we can also start the documentation here. So there's an entry document control shift D. If you don't see that entry maybe you just selected um, R package and not R package using R oxygen. So if you don't see this menu document, you can go to Tools, Project Options, and Build Tools and make sure that here, General Documentation with R oxygen, you have this tick mark here in this box. And also, you should enable um, use DevTools package functions if available. So these two ticks should be set under Project Options, Build Tools. Okay, so that's fine. And now we can click on Document and this should create the help file. Um, we do get one warning because we didn't fill in the return value. 
but it's 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 not an error. It says warning here. So um, some documentation has been created. You see that now under files we have this man subfolder that wasn't there before for manual or documentation. When we click inside there, there's this RD file that contains um, the actual source code for the help file. But our oxygen is very clear that it will take care of this file and we should not edit it by hand. So it's read only and it's got these comments generated by oxygen to do not edit by hand. So I recommend sticking with that. I just wanted to show you uh, what it does. So now we can load the function again. I'm using the keyboard shortcut now, Control Shift and L. And then we can try to check if there's some documentation and indeed Question mark random song displays a basic help file. We did have this warning because we didn't specify a return value. And now we can use this workflow of updating the documentation using more document and then load all and then looking at the help file again. We can do that to iteratively build up our help file. For example, we didn't specify a return value. A random song gets printed to the console. That's what the function does. Export is automatically inserted. It means that the function will be available to the outside user. So this is true by default when we use these our oxygen skeletons. Um, and later on we could also add examples. So let's save the um, script again and then run Control shift d or more document. Um, so I could also have clicked again here on document, control shift D, and then we load the function again, control shift L, and then we can look at the help page again. And now we see that the return value is also filled in. So, so far we, we haven't provided any examples. We get a warning when the documentation is built that examples requires a value. I know that a lot of users who consult ours documentation first look at the examples and only then they look at the details, if at all, maybe the examples are so informative that um, it's not even necessary anymore to, to read the details of the documentation. So this is a very important part of any documentation. So we are well advised to provide some examples here. So let's do that. We have this example section. We want to make this warning disappear and fill this in. So I can just type in random song. This is how you can use the function, but we can also add more examples. Um, it's good to be explicit here. Um, we can show the user how to change the default artist. For example, we can just provide Maroon 5. Um, and let's do one more random song and be more explicit and name the parameter artist. And I'm going for a little <laughs> more old fashioned band the Beatles artist equals the Beatles. So now I provided three examples and we can do the same workflow again, update the documentation, control shift D or build more document. And you see um, how the documentation is updated. We see this text here and now there's no more warning. We have filled in all the necessary fields. And now let's load the function again, control shift L or build more load all. And then we can check the documentation again, question mark, random song to look at the help file. And you see that now the examples are provided. We see three examples, random song just with the defaults, random song with a different artist and random song with the parameter artist explicitly named, which is good practice, but a bit more to type. We can even um, run these examples. Maybe this is something that you may not have done or it's not so common to do it in this way. So I'll show you how to do this. We can install the package. This is such a small package that it only takes a few seconds. And you see that in the bottom left in the console, our studio starts a new session and automatically loads our package. And now we can use this example function and type the name of the function, random song, and specify the package. 
billboard songs and let's see what happens and indeed the examples are executed we see the first example random song uses the default artist Rihanna shut up and drive then Maroon 5 she will be loved and we can also name the parameter artist equals the Beatles and we get a hard day's night so this is basically how you can create documentation or help files for your functions in your R packages. I hope this was helpful. If you want to find out more, my first starting point would be the R packages book by Hadley Wickham and Jenny Bryan. Make sure to read the latest edition. The first edition was very good, but it's a bit outdated now because more tools that help package development have been created since then. You can read the book online for free and then you can be sure to have the latest version. So I recommend that and you can find out more. There are more R Oxygen tags. I only showed you the most important ones, but for example, you can um, specify a family to bundle similar functions together and then in the help um, file you get the section C also and it links to similar functions. But enough for now. I hope you found this helpful. You see that it's not rocket science to create a package and to document your functions. Have fun creating your own packages. All the best. If you like the video give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. See you next time. Ciao.